Overthinking is not something that spares any personality type. Constant worrying can lead to a series of mental and physical health issues, and so it's something that needs to be addressed. INFJs too, who know themselves and others really well, are also susceptible to falling into a trap of overthinking. They're humans after all. To learn what happens when INFJs start overthinking, keep watching until the end. Number 11. They Can't Concentrate A 2003 study by Jambo Mursky and others found that overthinking, also known as rumination, damages your ability to focus. When you're overthinking, your brain gets cluttered and distracted, so much so that you stop making progress and stop moving forward. So when INFJs spend all their time thinking about things that don't matter in the present, they're unable to focus on the task at hand, hence affecting their concentration. Ultimately, they might end up multitasking, which further affects their productivity. Number 10. They're always anxious Hundreds of studies have discovered links between overthinking and anxiety. When INFJs feel insecure or doubtful about something, their anxiety stimulates nervous, unhelpful thoughts. Not only do these thoughts cloud an INFJ's otherwise impeccable sense of judgment, but they also create even more anxiety. In other words, anxiety and rumination feed off each other, while heavily impacting an INFJ's mood and motivation to do even the most basic of things. A book by Nolan Huxma explains that overthinkers have significantly more anxiety than the average person. So INFJs are no strangers to this fact, and if you see your INFJ loved one more jittery and anxious than usual, they have probably been overthinking. Number 9. They become super quiet INFJs are never allowed people to begin with. As introverts, they like working alone in their quiet space and need to spend time alone every once in a while just to recharge. Just like any other introvert, they prefer to work in silence and on their own. Moreover, when INFJs begin to overthink, they become unusually quiet. They will either blast the speakers or plug in their earphones while doing nothing or follow their usual routine without saying a word. Overthinking stresses them out to the point that they become too tired even to try and say anything. Thing. They feel like they don't even have the time to be mad or to feel whatever because of how tired and stressed they are. Number 8. They Disappear With No Warning INFJs hate the concept of ghosting, and their moral compass strongly steers them away from ghosting anyone in their lives. But when INFJs stress themselves out by overthinking even the most trivial of things, they somehow find themselves doing the thing they hate. When experiencing and battling this spiral of unnecessary thoughts, they may ignore text messages, phone calls, and even their responsibilities. In some cases, over Overthinking consumes them to the point that they might even cut off some people and deactivate their social media accounts for a while so that they can completely disappear. Fortunately, this doesn't last long. It's only a phase where they just want to be alone and kind of disappear. After a while, they might call up a good friend and vent about their struggles and fears when they're ready. Number 7. They binge on unhealthy things It's no secret that productivity is very important to an INFJ. They like to finish things quickly and accurately. They just somehow want things to be done and not feel like they're wasting their time. This is why they they always keep themselves occupied with almost anything and everything. But when they're under the grips of overthinking, INFJs might somehow scratch that productivity mantra for a while. Instead, they find themselves bringing on food, reading, watching a series, or almost anything that they could bench on. They drift from their beliefs and just do whatever they want to, just to try to stop the constant nagging of thoughts in their head. However, more often than not, they might find themselves regretting it because as soon as they stop binging, they're consumed by their thoughts once again. Number 6. They Become Obsessed With Perfection INFJ are known to be quite obsessive about order and cleanliness. They love to clean, and even that is an understatement. When they start overthinking, INFJs suddenly find themselves pressed for deadlines, and under the stress of the whole situation, they begin to organize and clean to their heart's content. This is their way of procrastinating and giving themselves more time to obsess over their thoughts. In extreme cases, they'll not stop until they have perfected what they were doing. For example, they will not stop until they have moved every piece of furniture and until they have wiped every corner. They get the feeling of satisfaction when they clean and dust things over like they're dusting their stress away too. For INFJs, stressed by their thoughts, organizing and obsessing over the tiniest of details is their way of relieving their stress and trying to be satisfied. Number 5. Their bad mood doesn't go away INFJs always controlled and careful, and they try their best to be calm and composed in every situation. They pat their own shoulder to keep their cool on days when everything just feels too much, and they can't seem to find anything good anymore. INFJs are not fans of emotions, and they don't like to deal with overwhelming emotions, especially anger and frustration. However, sometimes due to their overthinking, things just become too much for them to handle. To quell their bad mood, they 
overexert themselves in their workouts, run till they can't breathe anymore, or engage in physical activities that could sometimes physically harm them too. They do this in order to keep their minds of their stressors and to keep their minds occupied. They also do so to tire their bodies and avoid overthinking at night. According to a 2000 study by Davis and Nolan, people who overthink experience longer and more intense periods of negativity. They find themselves stuck in a loop for days or weeks on end. The problem is that most people, including INFJs, cope with negativity by overthinking, but overthinking only worsens their state of mind, so they're stuck in a cycle that never seems to end. Number 4. They Avoid the Things They Like INFJs always prefer staying within their comfort zone and rarely stay out of it. They know that they will only feel comfortable if they do things they like or the things that are part of their routines. But when overthinking makes them feel like the world is against them and the weight of the world is on their shoulders, they try and find comfort in things that are new to them. They try to stay away from their normal routines and explore new things. For example, in a bit to escape things that are weighing them down, they might try listening to new music or may pick up a hobby they don't particularly enjoy. This is because when people overthink, their thoughts take over their lives. It may feel like they can't do anything but focus on these unsolvable problems. Even their favorite activities start to lose their spark. A 1993 study by Leon Bomarski and Nolan found that people avoid their hobbies when they're overthinking because their mind is clouded by doubt and anxiety. Number 3. They Have Stressful Daydreams Everyone daydreams from time to time, whether it's about succeeding in your career, meeting your soulmate, or living the lifestyle you've always imagined, including INFJs. These healthy daydreams help people feel happy and uplifted. But overthinking INFJs daydreams in a different way. Instead of looking fondly into the future, overthinkers imagine every way something could go wrong. Their negative daydreams create all kinds of unnecessary stress. In other words, they worry about the future before it actually happens. Number 2. They Feel Vulnerable and Indecisive Overthinking places INFJs in a vulnerable state of mind. Imagine this, you're trying to solve your problems but it feels like you're not making any progress, as a result of which, you feel angry and helpless. This tanks your mood and brings deep insecurities to the surface. In moments like these, INFJs may overreact to small problems or get defensive when loved ones offer a helping hand. Moreover, overthinking ruins their ability to make confident choices. When thousands of options and thoughts are swirling through their head, it feels like there's no right answer and that every solution is just another dead end. Number 1. They Search for a Deeper Meaning INFJs who are overthinking will often try to rethink the past and reinterpret old memories, trying to think about what went wrong or to find a deeper understanding of life. A 2006 study found that overthinkers, especially those struggling with anxiety and depression, replay past events in their heads. So INFJs who are under the clutches of overthinking may find themselves revisiting embarrassing moments and missed opportunities. A 1993 study by Leon Bomarski and Nolan found that ruminators search for deeper meanings that doesn't exist. INFJs who are overthinking may find themselves hunting for some grand resolution to their problems something to lift their mood and relieve their anxiety. But the problem is usually their own train of thought and nothing else. If you're an INFJ, how do you deal with overthinking? How has overthinking affected you and those around you? Comment below. As always, like and share this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates on psychology.